Unfrosted is a new Netflix original comedy movie directed and starring Jerry Seinfeld with a cast that also includes Amy Schumer, Jim Gaffigan, Hugh Grant, and Melissa McCarthy. This movie follows the two main breakfast companies, Kellogg's and Post, as they are competing to create the next big breakfast pastry item. Now, with these actors that I just mentioned, all these comedic actors, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, Melissa McCarthy, Amy Schumer, all these people, um, you know, they've both, ha they've all had their hits and misses with me. Um, not every single one of their projects wowed me to be super duper funny. Um, they always give it out all, uh, with the roles that they play and at least with the material they're given, they have fun with it. And because of that, a lot of these actors have really uh, random movies and is sometimes hit or miss um, with lots of the jokes and types of humor. Um, and the fact that Jerry Seinfeld, um, that's one of the comedians that I'm not really familiar a lot with his humor. I haven't seen um, his famous TV show, um, Seinfeld, and so I've only seen a little bit of his work prior to this, so I just really didn't know what to expect, and to get right into what I think of this movie is, I think this movie is fine, I feel like if it was a little bit tighter and didn't add as many characters as it did. I feel like this movie would have been a little bit more cohesive and a little bit funnier. Like I mentioned before, um, I didn't know if this movie was going to be like over the top humor or if it was going to play very serious and get all laughs out by acting very serious in a very, um, comedic, uh, silly, uh, world, or what it was gonna be, and it is a very silly, uh, movie, very wacky movie, where you have these, uh, all these characters riffing off, uh, the concept and riffing off the characters that they play and kind of making, poking fun uh, at these um, breakfast companies, catalogs and post. And they do kind of do some creative things with uh, the story that they have with both of them competing to create the next big uh, breakfast product. And that spawns a little, lot of funny uh, gags. And, um, um, and I think when this movie taps in, to the really silly side and doesn't really care a lot about getting to know a lot about these characters um, and going really deep and meeting all these characters. They just tap right straight in to the silly nature of it. I feel like this movie works pretty well. Um, even though it's not the funniest thing ever, but um, for what it's going for, I feel like it was really good. Um, but unfortunately, I do think this movie takes its time with to get to those silly interactions and uh, silly gags because there are just so many characters in here and there's so many side plots. Uh, that I just don't really care about, and I don't feel like a lot of uh, people will. Um, and also, this movie is only like an hour and 35 minutes, so they are just kind of, uh, kind of, it kind of just feels like forced humor, when they're forcing that humor with the side plots that 
don't really have a lot to do with the main uh, story going on hand. You have all these actors doing a really good job in their roles, but there's just so much, many characters, and because of that, so many people trying to get laughs out of you in their own way, that they're, it just kind of feels jumbled at the end of it. Um, This movie, I do know that this movie is not re uh, really doing well with like critics um and i think that is the main reason it's just not taking its silly wacky humor seriously if that makes sense i feel like even though this movie is short uh in movie standards an hour and 30 something minutes i feel like it could have even took uh 10 to 15 minutes off just to kind of introduce these characters really quickly and just some main characters really quickly um, and kind of just played off these silly ideas um, just one after another and didn't really have to uh, make us know about all these extra characters because also um, because this movie is a comedy and is not written uh, te uh, technically to know a lot about these characters, but they do try. And I feel like uh, because of that, the script doesn't really allow us to uh, get to know a lot of these characters, even though the movie is trying to make us know a lot about these characters. Um, I feel like, um, it's trying to do it in a really jokey way, and it just doesn't work entirely, but hey, the actors are giving it their all, um, there are some really wacky, silly moments that some of you guys will be like, what the heck is going on, and the other half of you will think that is so over the top that it's funny. So let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the movie. Where did you land on the movie? Did you like it? Did you think this movie was some silly fun? Or uh, did you not like it and did not think this was, m movie was funny whatsoever? Or did you land right in the middle where you kind of thought it was funny but a little bit jumbled all over the place uh, to where you probably won't watch it again? Uh, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps out the channel a huge, huge bunch. After you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you're going to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.